Hello, hello, guys. Welcome to our Forming the Caliphate series as the Mamooks. And as you guys can see, we have a revolt. Where is this revolt? It's over here. So let's go ahead and just... Yeah, ideally I would want to wait just the tad bit so that I can recover some morale. Um, but it automatically recovers, right? Is it? Yeah. Okay, Mercuria, no, we're going to go to war with you soon, so don't even ask. Ooh, so we... We need this... Oh, we could do this, so let's... Oh, they need to hold at least 50 opinion of me. Uh, let's not do this. Okay. So let's just wait. I mean, they're going to invade it anyways. But I might lose that battle. Yeah, that's bad. Let's go ahead and send them up here. Let's just let them take that, whatever. Gain 10 years of separatism. Ardalian. Where's Ardalian? Are those the. Yeah, those are the separatists. Never mind. Let's go ahead and set a leader there. Let's go to merge these and. Let's go ahead and capture them. Okay. Maintain diplomat. Let's hope that they remove us from rivalry status. Let's hope that. And let's look at our coalition. Minus 30. Let's look. It goes plus 3. Oh! Okay, 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 okay. You can annex them. Annex Vassal. Yes, please. And when can we annex you guys? In four years. When can we annex Fedl? We can't annex them right now. Oh, this is November 10th. Alright, so we're annexing them. How long will this take? This will take six years but once we do I know there's a mission tree that'll that'll give me the oh no I already had I already got it huh, never mind okay so yeah let's just keep an eye on this we need to declare war on Shamar soon no, they're my vassal too so I can annex them also this is 61 can I do the manage automatic rebel suppression thing? But I don't because I want to lower my army maintenance. So let's go ahead and just have them drill. And then let's lower the, the army maintenance down. Okay, we have some more rebels spawning. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna have to deal with these rebels anyway, so there's no point in and in, um, in lowering maintenance for them. So this is nine. There's this probability that they'll. How do I know where they are going to come out from? I think that they just give us an estimate. Tebuk. Where's Tebuk? 
over here, so I gotta be careful. All right. How's my trade power doing? 13%, okay, we're, we're getting there. Can we vassalize you? No, we cannot. Okay. Yeah, I mean the Condor, oh, I forgot what it's called, Condoretti maybe, is that what it's called? Condoretti um, mechanic of the game is pretty, you know, meh, because it's like it allows you to sell your military to others. But I think the problem with that is you still pay maintenance on them, so the benefit is sort of you. The only way you make money is if you if you uh, if they give you more money than your maintenance. But the odds of that happening is pretty low. Okay, wave of obscurantism. Research have published several works with radical theses that could prove destabilizing if widely disseminated. Disseminated, sorry. Should we offer this easy path of obscurantism and suppress this knowledge, or would it be better to not stand in the way of progress? So I guess there's some new science out there that contradicts what religion says. So we could ignore it, or we could uh, we could. Um, this is us letting it happen. This is us forcibly uh, hiding it. Let's take the prestige hit. I don't want any national unrest. And we could also annex you. October 25th, 1458. Oh, I can. I'm talking about. I need to annex them. Okay. Let's improve relationships here until we get to 190, and then we can annex. Some buildings, sure. This is minus one. Oh, because we're annexing Hijaz. Wow. That is going to be a problem. And if I annex Fadl, that'll even lower it even more to minus 12. Yeah. That is rough. Um, hmm. And then when we annex these, if I go to war with them and I annex them, this might just bring it down to negative territory. But it's only for a short period. Yeah, I don't think it's a great idea to annex two at the same time. Let me just bring our relationships to 200 and then I'll wait for this to be done and then I'll annex this. Yeah, I don't think it's a great idea to uh, to do both at the same time. This is unacceptable. Trade guilds and fraternities. Guilds and fraternities are a constant factor in the public life of the Sultan. In many ways, these are small communities within the community. With their own rules, customs, and even laws. It is also very common for these associations to indulge in mystic tradition, Sufism, and unorthodox, unorthodox adaptation of the Sharia. Something that sometimes makes it hard for these laws of the elements to penetrate the urban milieu. An artisan in Halab has reached out to the state, warning us of a local guildsman with a great influence on local affairs. Anyone wishing to take up a craft in the city is currently required to be approved by this man, then swear an oath of allegiance. So there's this man that's sort of 
doing some contradictory stuff. So this is acceptable. This is unacceptable. Let's do that. Let's gain that prestige. Now again, obviously, the decisions that I'm making in-game don't reflect my actual opinion on the matter. Um, but I guess there was no penalty, so I mean, why not? And I, I want to move towards legalism because it has better benefits. So we currently have 91, close. Uh-oh, it was looted. We could technically send these eight to hunt pirates. Should I do that? Let's go ahead and do that, actually. Let's unmoth ball you. Let's hunt pirates in. Alexandria? Sure. So our annexation is going pretty good. A lot faster than what I was expecting. Um, do we still have claims on this? Yeah, we do. Okay. Alright, so one of our advisors died. We definitely need this or else... We might take a hit. Trade efficiency, diplo reputation, or improve relations. This will be four ducats monthly. We can't afford that. Although the diplo reputation might be helping my annexation. Hmm. Let's do it. I mean, we could always get rid of him. So I, I definitely, if I increase my... Oh no, my army maintenance is increased and I'm still net positive. That's good. That is good news. So let's see now, now that I have plus one, how long will this take? 59. All right, so I reduce it, I guess, by a year. Whatever. Oh, now it went up to minus seven. Okay. So this is protecting trade. Um The Ottomans declared war upon their new enemy. Uh oh. I was I was hoping I could get some of this. But I guess I can declare war on them. Allied with Ajam. Allied with them and Kandar. Hmm. Yeah, the Ottomans are going to eat them up. Technology. Sure, let's do the temple. And let's actually start building some. Yeah, let's start building some. Let's increase the speed a little bit. Although I won't put ever put it up to max, but we'll leave it at this just for now because we're not doing that much. All right, let's lower it. It seems that the government benign neglect. It seems that the government that governs the least govern. It's the best as far as those outside the capital are concerned. Our non-involvement in Halab's efforts are proved beneficial and the local economy is booming. Let's do the local trade power. You see, the problem when you deal with these estates, you sort of just focus on them and then you might not actually do the right thing. The question is, is this increasing? I don't know. I might have to add another ship there, another light ship. Let's build another light ship and then we'll add it to the fleet to protect trade. No, thank you. I have enough relationships. We're annexing them. 
Yeah, so this definitely goes up now. It's at minus seven. Before it was at minus five, but now it's at minus seven. If I look at my thing here. Oh, so this Diplo reputation does not. Oh, it speeds up diplomatic annexation and integration. Oh, never mind, it does. Never mind, it does. I thought it didn't. So we can enact a government reform, sure. National manpower modifier, we get 309 every month, or tax modifier. Let's do tax modifier. Sure. Okay. Are, we still haven't reached that 50 economy. Is that what they want? 50? 42? Yeah, we definitely want to increase that so we can get that mission. Subjugate the Balix. That's these people over here. I could probably subjugate one of them. Hmm. Should I subjugate them? Okay, let's just wait for this annexation to finish and then I'll subjugate them. Darga, a Sufi sheikh has passed away in Buharia, Buhaira, and his followers are now putting up a shrine in his honor. Pilgrims from various parts of the world are already starting to come to his province to see the shrine of this great man, some calling him a saint. Local notables have set aside a charitable donation in its maintenance, and his former pupils have opened the large nearby. While there's nothing wrong with honoring a great man, some moral traditionalists among the pious and the ulama feel that this form of worship is sacred religious. Should Jakma one pay the shrine in Bukhari a visit, it might do much, both for prestige of the shrine itself, but also for the purpose of perception. So, this is weird. So now they want, if I go there, I thought that would be taking a neutral stance and that'll tour that'll be towards legalism but I guess not yearly tax income plus two I get to move towards legalism oh I also get this never mind they're the same thing and I get administrative technology and I get legal uh, legitimacy so yeah do that the city of al as customs of the holy mosque of al are responsible not only for the holy shrine are not the only ones responsible for the Holy Shrine. A state that claims this honor is also expected to fend for the population of the Holy Cities as well as the pilgrims they attract. For this purpose, many rulers have devoted great resources, both within the cities themselves and, excuse me, and large tracts of fairway farmland in order to feed and maintain the area. Some sage, Chakmak, the first, has not been paying attention to the cities that they serve. They, that pilgrims are no longer safe, and that there is great want in the streets of Al Quds. Let's set aside more land for their upkeep. Um, let's do that. Let's look at our estates condition. All right, so our truce with them expired. They declared war on them. Okay, now the question is, now that they declared war, vassalizing them might be even harder because they might grow. Yeah. I really hope I can get this thing done over here. Oh, we're s no, now we're stuck. Okay, now we're stuck at 13%. What can I do? Can I do any steer trade actions? Why not? Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I'm definitely not going to fulfill that mission there. It's going to be hard. Although I could do some development, some product efficiency. Will that help me? Trade value. No, this doesn't help my trade power in any way. In any meaningful way at least okay so my dipple power now is only going minus two gift to the state the nobility and the businessman of this realm have decided to reward our good governance of recent years by donating cash to the treasury some of, of pure patriotism others in exchange for honorary titles and positions so let's just do I know where to put those funds <laughs> I know just where to put those ones right in our bank. Okay, we can select the naval doctrine. I don't know. Should we do this? Let's do okay, let's do this because right now our ships are there. Let's do this now. Yeah. And I can change it. I believe I can change it, right? Yeah, I could easily change it. So this should start to increase. I only have two light ships. I need to wait for this ship to finish constructing and then I could um, add it to the fleet over there. And then that'll be the end for this episode. Okay, so let's just go ahead and send you over here. This should be done any minute. Okay, let's go ahead and protect trade in the Gulf of Aden. Where's Commer Bay? Oh, increased, uh, it tells you right there. Okay, never mind. I was wondering, maybe I'm transferring trade power on the wrong node. But it tells you right there in the top. Okay, let's see. Alright, so that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we'll do, hopefully next episode we could declare war. Let's check our coalition. Yep, it's starting to wear away, minus 22. We could definitely declare war next episode, and that'll be our main thing. So, see you guys next episode.